from Jerry Armstrong and Mark Robson. And there he is, the Portuguese captain, Ronaldo. And due to that uh, shock in Porto when they dropped two points at home, will Portugal well appreciate the capabilities of Northern Ireland? Can they play as well as they did in that dominant performance against the Russians here? Pepe. A draw back to Ronaldo, who was kept quiet in a Porto, double teamed by Aaron Hughes and Corey Evans in the main. Well, that's the first thing I'm looking at here. Look at Malm again, tucking in to give a little bit of support. You can see how the team are dropping in. Double ball to Contral, and that's twice. He's put a real zinger of a cross in. Here's Ronaldo, and Ronaldo for Morelles, and Morelles. And, and, and drawn defenders to the mark before he slipped it in for Morelles to get the shot, so their pressure. And that's certainly, I think, something that Northern Ireland can do well tonight. Here's Ronaldo. And well, that's just how Northern Ireland will like it. Ronaldo. Oh, great skills by Ronaldo. Twisting and turning away from Steve Davis. Well, well we know what he's all about. Mark, 202 goals in 202 games for Real Madrid. 40 goals for Portugal. Look at the skill here. That is fantastic balance for a big lad. A little bit cocky as well at the end with a nonchalant flick, but uh, that's Ronaldo. Here is Verinha. And now Ronaldo. Ronaldo again showing good skill and winning the free kick. It was Holly Norwood there in attendance, giving it away. Referee just bringing them back. It's uh, Matinho standing over the ball for Portugal. They won their last two World Cup qualifiers, in fact, Azerbaijan 2-0, and Russia won that Azerbaijan game. They hit the woodwork four times. Way by Pepe, and it's run all the way to Ronaldo, and he's given it away to McCauley, though. For a first touch from Ronaldo, you don't often say or hear that. Off he goes again. Finds Postiga. And again, they look for this diagonal ball, and Ronaldo is the runner, and Hodgson does well in the end. Ball was good from Pepe, he's done it a couple of times. Put Lee Hodgson under pressure and Hodgie's done well to put it away, but corner kick now, which is not good. It means that Pepe and Bruno Alves are back up again and Ronaldo who's at here is Matinho for Ronaldo. Getting roundly booed. Ronaldo comes off McCauley. Ronaldo who was booed the last time he was here. He played in that match in 2005. Good skill from Contral. And now it is Ronaldo. Hodgson is the marker paying very, very close attention to the feet of Ronaldo. No lead. Well, that's this what they man. want. That's what they want away from home. Get yourself a goal and then encourage the, the opposition. This is Morelles. Clever little ball for Ronaldo. And here is Ronaldo. And he certainly isn't dominating the game so far. Ronaldo, we saw it at Pereira. Here's Varinha, here's Ronaldo. Ronaldo again, Ronaldo caught by Brunt. And is Chris Brunt, is he going to get booked for this? He is. Chris Brunt gets a yellow. He's saying, he's saying it's my first time, and he's right. It is his first, but it's maybe a wee bit too obvious and deliberate. Ahead of everybody, I knew what was going to happen. Oh, here's trouble. Here's Ronaldo, Ronaldo plays it in, and... And Mark, we could have sat back and taken the draw but we didn't we went for the victory and they beat us on the counter-attack and here's oh, Postiga and Roy Carroll makes a good save and then Gareth McCauley sweeps the ball away and it comes off Ronaldo but it's not going to go out of play got off and well done this is a better save though from Helder Postiga set up by Ronaldo great strike Roy Carroll down his left hand side oh. Well played, Carroll, but Postiga and Gareth McCauley just coming Red together. Card. Oh, Postiga's gone! Postiga is off! The referee deciding there will be no nonsense here, and they've lost their top scorer, and he's booked Ronaldo, the captain, as well. Well, what a 15 seconds here at Windsor Park. They could have pressed the destruct button because he's had a goal at... The Gareth McCauley, Gareth McCauley's asked him what the problem is and he moved his head forward. Now, Gareth didn't go down, but the referee saw enough of it to give him the red card. Let's see this again. 
I think he's shown he's just, what's this all about? No, he does push his head forward. That's silly. That is silly. That is absolutely ridiculous. From a player of his experience, Heller Postiga, he's got to be disappointed with that action. Well, it's a moment of exceptional drama here at Windsor Park. How this game has changed Northern Ireland, falling behind to the guys with a right-footed shot. But Ronaldo, is he losing his composure? Portugal are most definitely rattled at Windsor Park. Top of them. Show them what we're all about. The crowd have been fantastic again. Um, and hopefully they can do more of the same in the second half. And this is... Can Northern Ireland kick on as the rain lashes down in Belfast? Jao Pinto, one of the coaching staff, has also been sent off. Will Portugal combust completely in the second half, Jerry? Well, that's the question, and they have to keep the composure, but Northern Ireland are in a great former fortress, but now becoming a fortress again, Windsor Park, seven home matches without a victory. Well, Johnny Evans, the provider, looks like it just deflected off Jimmy Ward. Here's Ronaldo, a lot of work through the smoke now for Ronaldo to do. Oh, getting his full match fitness back is Nani. Up goes Ronaldo with McCauley all over the back of Ronaldo, but legally... And yet again, and inevitably, Alves is at the far post trying to time his run. It's not going to get anywhere near Alves. Ronaldo comes in, and, yeah, a little flick off Norwood. Oliver Norwood's got a wee touch on the near post. I think he was saying it came off Ronaldo last, but the referee has given it to Portugal. Continue again with the set piece. Alves makes the run, but it wasn't oh. Alves! It wasn't Alves! Guess who it was? It was Cristiano Ronaldo, the heartbreaker, who's equalised for Portugal. The captain has stepped up. He's been quiet tonight, but that's a fabulous header from a fabulous player. Great delivery. Have a look at the movement. He gets half a yard, up he gets, heads it down. Bullet header. Half a yard. And it's big Kyle Lafferty, who's half marking him. He's not really got a, a challenge in. He needs to put more pressure on Ronaldo than that. And Cristiano gets his 41st goal, and there's a wee stat comes with that one, Robbo. Nani. Ronaldo. And now Ronaldo again. Well, it's under the couch now. Portugal can smell blood. Great tackle from Steve Davis. Veloso comes off McCauley. Steve Davis. Veloso for Ronaldo. Control on the left hand side. It's unusual for him at Real Madrid. He scored in the third one. Yes, it was a header as well. And now he's, he's picked up a header to. Draw the team's level at 2-2 with 20 minutes to play, and it's anybody's game. That's yes, incredible since the sending off. Here is Ronaldo, Ronaldo gets away, and across comes Johnny Evans. Pressure for Northern Ireland, and a lot of possession for Portugal, either flanked or pouring forward as they make the change. Shane Ferguson's coming off for Chris Burr to go in at left back. Here's Veloso. Trau gets the ball in, all the better goes up, Ronaldo's oh. there again! Ronaldo was unmarked, and he's the skipper, the saviour! Heartbreak, well, Ronaldo unmarked in the edge of the six-yard box is a no-no mark, obviously. That's a great ball in, but he should be, he should be marked tighter than that. Here's the cross coming in here. And you can see he's totally, totally unmarked. Contrails cross. How can Ronaldo find that amount of space? It's beyond me. Not a lot you can do from Roy Carl's point of view, and he doesn't miss chances like that. Well, he's not bad for a cheap Gareth Bale, as uh, the crowd were chanting here earlier on. But as you say, Jerry, given space and refine out. Here Here's is Contral. Oh. Good, strong run by Contral, and Ronaldo pulls away. Maybe opens a bit of space for Contral, and it's a free kick. Yeah, it's a brilliant run from him, and he's now thinking, oh. yeah, I'm going to book you too, Oliver Norwood. Has he already been booked? It's coming yeah. in from behind. Well, he looks like he maybe got a wee nick on it, but you can't make any sort of a tackle at all from behind in this day and age. 
not in front of Dutch policemen anyway, Jerry. <laughs> well, Ronaldo's on a hat trick. Well, I've seen him take three kicks and he can certainly hit the ball. Well, he wants it and he's the captain. He's got the armband. <laughs> I don't think there's any doubt about that with the way he's walking back here, pacing out the run. Listen, only brave men in the wall, I'll tell you that now, trust me. He'll aim straight for Pepe and then Pepe will pull out of the wall, that's the idea. Ronaldo! Kills off the brave man of Belfast! And that is why he is a superstar. Well, once the two players, the red shirts, went into the wall, you knew they were going to open up. A little bit naive there from us. But he hit it well. He hammered it into the space that they left vacated. Have a look as he opened up the wall. There they go, out of the way. He just strikes it straight through. And what's Roy Carl supposed to do there? Took a deflection as well. It took a deflection. Well, he's certainly making up for the disappointment he felt in a Porto on his 100th appearance for the Portuguese when he was hounded out of the gate. And the man who's going to come off, you can see the number there, is Cristiano Ronaldo. Jerry, your thoughts on his contribution? Well, massive contribution, three goals in a game, and he's just so lethal in front of goal, headed goals, free kicks, you know, it's, it's a different type of goals that he scores. But you can't love him or hate him, you can't deny he is one of the best players of war in the world, if not the best player in the world. He's the difference between Portugal winning tonight and losing. He's even getting some applause from Amore, look at the smile on his face. Be a bigger smile on the face of Paulo Bento, you would fancy, because this really was a game that they had to win. I don't think Paulo Bento looks a bit hit the target, but it's deflected for the corner. Well, there's the final whistle, and there is the star at Windsor Park on this cold and wet Friday night. It's Ronaldo. He's all smiles after that hat trick. He was quiet in the first half, and then he got the first header in. The second one he was unmarked, and nobody else was going to take that free kick with the captain on a hat trick. And Ronaldo has destroyed Northern Ireland at Windsor Park. The lead was taken by the Portuguese through Bruno Alves. Gareth McCauley managed to get the equaliser for Northern Ireland. Jamie Ward scuffling away on the line, putting Michael O'Neill's men into the lead. But then it all went horribly wrong and mainly down to that man. Ronaldo is the hero for Portugal. Their World Cup hopes are really back on track here with two home games to come. And now Northern Ireland go to Luxembourg to try and pick themselves up after this. The final score here at Windsor Park, an overwhelming victory in the end for Portugal. They have won by four goals to two. Yes, it was only the second time in 36 matches that Northern Ireland have managed to score more than one goal and still it wasn't enough, and largely it wasn't enough because of that man there, one of the most prolific goal scorers the game has ever seen. He was certainly running the show after a bit of a, a problem at the start of the match. He couldn't turn the microphone on. He certainly turned his form on, and a hat-trick. He goes home with the match ball, and he is the reason that Portugal are now top of this table. Ultimately disappointing night for Northern Ireland's fans, but they will eventually be able to say that they saw one of the world's best players at his best in Belfast.